lab safety rules and regulations. No eating, drinking, or smoking in laboratories. Perform only those exercises that are authorized. Report all accidents and injuries immediately to your instructor. Familiarize yourself with the first aid chart and the location of the fire extinguishers and eyewash. Wear safety glasses when provided or appropriate in certain labs. Do not use cracked or broken glass equipment. Dispose of broken glass in the glass disposal box provided in the lab. Never directly inhale vapors of any chemicals used. Never taste a chemical.
Avoid possible contamination through the hands. In exercises where it is necessary to handle and dissect preserved animals, you would be wise to use surgical or exam gloves always available in the laboratory. Always wash hands thoroughly after exposure to hazardous chemicals and, as a general rule, after each laboratory period. Always wear your PPE or personal protective equipment while in the lab. Never throw solid or liquid hazardous materials into sinks. Use correct waste jars provided. These hazardous or contaminated materials will be disposed of by the lab personnel. Clean up spilled materials immediately using liberal quantities of water. Keep your working surfaces clean at all times. Use paper towels or Clorox wipes for wiping surfaces. Before leaving the laboratory, make sure to return all special equipment to its designated place. Straighten your lab table workspace. If using a microscope, unplug it and put it away before you leave the lab. If using hot plates, please turn off and unplug it before you leave the lab. If the fire alarm sounds, leave the building by the nearest exit from your lab. If you are the last one out, close the door behind you. Wait for your instructor's approval before re-entering the building.
proper laboratory attire includes long pants and closed-toed shoes. Campus assistance during emergencies. Public safety has a 24-hour emergency dispatcher. On campus, dial telephone extension 7777. Please note, for non-emergency calls, you can also contact public safety at 5500. When calling to report an emergency, remain calm and carefully provide the following. Your name, your telephone number, nature of the emergency, exact location of the emergency, injury, if any, requiring an ambulance, what treatment measures are being performed. Do not hang up until the dispatcher says to do so. explosion or aircraft down on campus. Immediately take cover under tables, desks, and other objects which will give you protection against falling glass and debris. After the effects of the explosion and or fire have subsided, notify the Department of Public Safety at 7777. Give your name and describe the location and nature of the emergency. If directed to do so, activate the fire alarm. Walk quickly to the nearest marked exit and ask others to do the same. Assist the handicapped. During an earthquake, remain calm. If indoors, seek refuge in a doorway or under a desk or table. Stay away from glass windows, shelves, and heavy equipment. If outdoors, move quickly away from buildings, utility poles, and other structures. Always avoid power or utility lines. They may be energized. If a fire exists, activate the fire alarm. Walk to the nearest exit. Assist the handicapped. Do not return to an evacuated building unless told to do so by public safety. During a tornado, all building occupants should immediately seek shelter within the building. Do not go outside. Generally, the safest shelter areas in the building are the basement, stairwells, and interior corridors. Stay away from windows, outside doors, exterior walls, and large open areas such as auditoria, gymnasia, theaters, and lobbies. Assume a sitting position with head covered by arms. Use a coat, jacket, or some other cover to provide protection from debris and glass. During a medical emergency, call the campus public safety office at 7777. Give your name, describe the nature and severity of the medical problem, the campus location of the victim, and if an ambulance is needed. In case of minor injury or illness, first aid care is administered at UC 300 by the university nurse at extension 5650 or by public safety after hours. Any spillage of a hazardous chemical or radioactive material must be reported immediately to public safety at extension 7777. When reporting, 
be specific about the nature of the involved material and exact location. Public safety will contact the necessary specialized authorities and medical personnel. If you observe a suspicious object or potential bomb on campus, do not touch the object. Clear the area and immediately call public safety at 7777. Public safety officers will conduct a detailed bomb search. Building evacuation may be necessary by activation of the fire alarm. Assist the handicapped in exiting the building. Do not use elevators. Do not panic and do not return to an evacuated building unless authorized to do so by public safety. Everyone is asked to assist in making the campus a safe place by being alert to suspicious situations and promptly reporting them. If you are a victim of a crime or a witness to any on-campus criminal act, Promptly notify public safety as soon as possible and report the incident, including the following. The nature of the incident, the location, description of persons involved, description of property involved. If you observe a suspicious person on campus, immediately notify public safety. In all cases of fire, the Department of Public Safety must be notified immediately by calling extension 7777. When the building fire alarm is sounded, an emergency exists. Walk quickly to the nearest marked exit and alert others to do the same. Once outside, move to a clear area well away from the affected building. Keep streets, fire lanes, hydrants, and walkways clear for emergency vehicles and crews. A psychological crisis exists when an individual threatens harm to themselves or to others. This can be someone emotionally disturbed or someone suffering a severe reaction to drugs which can cause psychotic behavior. If a psychological crisis occurs on campus, attempt to calm the individual and establish rapport with them. Trying to determine the individual's name and address to contact relatives, a physician, or a close friend is advised. Never try to handle a situation on your own that is potentially dangerous. In an extreme emergency situation, immediately contact Public Safety at 7777 and provide your name and location for officers to respond to the situation.